today we have another basic video and today's video is for those kind of people who are pretty new to maya and doesn't know a lot of things in maya and those who are pretty at a beginner stage uh, so today's video is for them today we are going to taking a look at how to create a backdrop inside of maya and a backdrop is pretty essential when it comes to product design or showcasing a lighting or any abstract art uh, you need a pretty much backdrop for anything if you create in maya uh, to showcase anything so let's see uh, now there are a lot of different backdrops and we'll see how to create them how to make a use of them uh, so let's see uh, let's take a plane and I'm going to scale this up let's bring this up and as you can see we have a lot of subdivisions and for the backdrop we are not going to be using that much so let's make it zero and zero uh, the next thing we are going to do is right click on your primitive and go to edge mode select one edge uh, you can click on this icon either you can hit ctrl e on your keyboard or you can go to edit mesh and simply hit extrude now pull this up and uh, that's it so select the middle edge uh, you can hit hold shift and right click and go to bevel edge either you can also select this one icon to bevel it or you can go to edit mesh and bevel now I'm going to make the fraction now you see a couple of options over here when it comes to bevel which is fraction segment and depth and fraction pretty much controls the overall bevelness of uh, the edge so let's make it around somewhere around like this and I'm going to increase the segment to 12 which is just going to make this smoother okay so uh, let's scale this something like this and I think we have pretty interesting backdrop and I'm going to put this onto a new layer let's um, call this L underscore backdrop uh, perfect let's save this and I'm going to hide this let's take another plane we'll bring this up let's make this 0 and 0 so uh, the next thing we are going to be uh, creating is something called as an S shape backdrop let's go to edge mode select one edge hit extrude ctrl E pull this up and here you are going to extrude it one more time pull this backward and just a little bit upwards and go to the front uh, edge and um, hit ctrl E either you can go to edit mesh and hit extrude and pull this down and just a little bit forward select this edge this edge and this one and go to edit mesh bevel just increase the segment and you can pretty much play around with the fraction and that's it so as you can see uh, this does look somewhere similar to the S shape so that's why they call it the S level shape backdrop so let's add it to a new layer let's call this S underscore backdrop and let's hide this let's take another plane let's scale this up and the next one we are going to be taking a look at is called a u-shape backdrop so let's well kind of u-shape uh, you can say circular uh, that's the word for it we are going to call it a c-shape right uh, because i think we already have one u-shape uh, let's call this u okay anyways uh, let's select the edge let's, and let's hit extrude extrude and let's bring this up and i think we should scale just a little bit okay so we have this kind of container looking thing and we are going to go to the edge mode select this one and this one hold shift to select multiple edges and then simply go to edit mesh bevel increase the segment and decrease the fraction and there you go so we have another pretty interesting backdrop for this kind of design pretty interesting let's add this to a new layer let's okay so once you are done with that let's take another plane let's scale this up let's bring this up and let's go to polyplane and let's make this zero and zero so the what most people do when they create this kind of backdrop the one i'm going to about to show you uh what they do is pretty much take the plane and what they do is extrude this and extrude this one more time and this is what they do which i think is completely wrong uh, instead of this uh, what i suggest is simply taking a box let's scaling this up 
and uh, then simply go to face mode select this hold shift select this select this and simply delete it and there you go now simply go to the edge mode select this edge and this edge and simply bevel this making the segment to something like this and increase decreasing the fraction to somewhere around maybe three yeah uh, if you are uh, worried about this black color don't worry about it just go to lighting and hit two side lighting there you go and let's call this so now we have all these backdrop let's align them now you can pretty much play around with this you can add any primitive or you can see your abstract uh, shape and um, let me just reset this and you can add this and simply zoom in your camera and now you have i think pretty interesting backdrop which you can deal with let's go to the debug shading occlusion and now you have interesting backdrop which you can pretty much use for showcasing your product design or your abstract art or pretty much anything so enjoy creating this backdrop and have fun creating your product and rendering them with a pretty cool backdrop so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if this was helpful and if you want me to cover more things let me know in the comment section and thank you have a nice day